Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another reaction and review video today to a song I'm yet to listen to. However, a lot of people seem to think that I really should get around to listening to this one. And so I do it now. This is the Dutch entry for Eurovision 2024. It's called Europapa by Joost Klein. And um, <clears throat> I guess there's something special about it because people have really wanted me to listen to it. And then when I looked it up, I saw the amount of views that it had and it was quite a large number. So uh, that's kind of just enhanced my uh, my um, real uh, just desire to, to actually take a listen to this song. So I'm looking forward to doing that now. Um, just making sure that everything works here. And uh, yes, um, hopefully I'll enjoy it. Interesting. Uh, obviously, that doesn't really come across because it's spoken in Dutch, but I mean, that's a kind of a nice touch. It makes it more personal, of course. Um, I guess I just got to read up on it, really. Um, however, as a song on, on its own, that is, of course, a very abrupt ending, but, but it's kind of nice. It ties everything together and gives you a little bit of like this proper whiplash effect that makes you intrigued to know more. Like, where did that come from and why is it here? And now I want to know why that is. Um, of course, something that will get people talking, uh, and obviously, like throughout the song leading up to that as well, just the amount of energy and intensity within the track is really something that people won't be able to just look away from, and I think that's very effective. Probably going to be very successful within a televote kind of setting. Unsure about like a jury setting uh, because I'm just kind of basing this off the fact that it will qualify for the final because it just stands out so much and it's very effective. It's it's a proper earworm for sure. You can have this Odo Papa hook in your head uh, very easily because it's just so instant and it really relies on a kind of repetition that makes it just completely effective within this within this drive of the track as well. Um, I think that the song is a little bit all over the place uh, throughout but I think that's also kind of the purpose of it. Uh, I'm not sure instrumentally there are fun details here and there it feels like they've really played around with it a lot there are small uh, elements scattered here and there that just kind of offer a response to the overarching soundstage of the song, which is kind of fun, you know, there, there are just small details scattered around, very filtered back, uh, to just add, a dext add, add an extra layer, I guess. You could really just sit down and actually uh, delve into this song and pick out these small sound inputs here and there that just livens up the track a little bit extra, I guess. Uh, overall, it doesn't really need all of that liveness because it goes all out with just this kind of fun approach that it wants to take. Um, melodically, it's it's very much not really my thing, I gotta be honest. Um, it's very reliant on kind of having uh, monotonous hooks uh, just for the sake of being effective and and uh, engaging in terms of easy listening. Uh, and, and you know, all of the focus has really been on actually making it into an entertaining listening experience rather than a very uh, intriguing one, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really have like these tone shifts within it, it doesn't really have an intonation that actually sparks some kind of suspense or drama within the song. It more or less just kind of goes all out with entertaining. Um, and, it, and I don't really mind that, it's effective absolutely and it will work for, for a certain audience. I'm just not sure if, if you'd really consider it to be written in a, in a complex um, enough way to actually spark some kind of interest from... from, from I guess, uh, certain jurors and, and whatnot, and, and me, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely all for the approach they take, and I think that's effective. And maybe you don't really, sh maybe you shouldn't really actually try and develop your song more in terms of, a, of an intriguing way um, compositionally um, when, you want to, when you want to go with this approach. So I can't really fault them for that. Um, it's just that maybe for my, for my subjective and personal preference, I would have liked there to be a little bit more of a melodic, um, melodic kind of, touch to it uh, that actually stuck with me because right now I feel like it's very much just this mind-numbing kind of straight to the point simple hook that you, you know should just stick in here after the first listen and you're you can very easily tag along with it. A uh, fun little switch up towards the end with, with the gabber I mean in, in my opinion there's a reason why this music isn't very popular anymore I think these uh, kick drums that that just goes all out it doesn't really like it sure it offers dynamics but it also completely drowns out the rest of the soundstage entirely a little bit of a modern touch on the production in that regard which is nice um kind of refreshing i guess but at the same time it just i don't know at the same time it's kind of one of my favorite parts of the song because i actually did something different i'm i'm trying to make up my own thoughts now here as i go along on my first listen uh, and it's a bit tricky because there's a lot of things going on all the, all the same um 
maybe the percussive arrangement throughout isn't really up my alley. It's a lot of just reliance on on rather um, mellow hits, but with punch. It's not the most distinct and dynamic kind of percussive arrangement. It more or less just goes for the dynamics in terms of instrumental inputs uh, elsewhere. These, this piano goes a bit high, haywire throughout the song, and that is that is absolutely something. Um, I'm not sure, like maybe it's fighting a little bit much with the vocal, um, but again, it just feels like there's a purpose behind that, and that really works within how they wanted to arrange the song. It's just that probably I won't return to it as much because I don't get that overarching feeling of uh, fulfillment and, and just enjoyment. I, I think that it's fun and it's it's a bit you know on the wacky side and very engaging because of that. But uh, it's not one of these songs that I feel like actually grabs a hold of me and, and puts me along on the ride and takes me along on the ride. Uh, it more or less just becomes um, a bit. I wouldn't say a bit too crazy, but but it's it's very much just reliant on being. Uh, on, on its simple approach, I would say, um, and that's that's completely fine, um, absolutely. Um, but you know, just my two cents. Uh, it will be for some people more than than it will be for others. But very fun to have heard uh, Euro Papa here for the first time. Might be a huge success at Eurovision. We're yet to find out, of course. Uh, but it will be interesting to to follow along on the journey here with uh, a used Klein. Um, so yeah, please let me know what you think of this song in in the comments and uh, whether you love it or hate it or or, you know, whatever it is you feel about it, please do share and maybe like share what's your favorite part of the song. Do also share me, share that with me. Uh, is it the musical side of things? Is it maybe um, some sort of uh, message that it has? Because I'm sure it does. Uh, I just felt that sentimental tone within it. So it, there surely is something behind it. Uh, maybe it's the, the gabber section towards the end. Maybe it's just the hook. Maybe you absolutely love the piano arrangement within the song. Um, I found it a little bit overpowering, I guess. Um, Probably would have liked for a little bit of more um, like clear instrumentation. I don't know. Maybe a little too much reliant on that piano in my in my book. I'm not sure. But maybe they, that's what you love most about it. Please let uh, share with me what whatever it is you feel about it. Regardless of anything, though, thank you so much for watching this video uh, and uh, listening to the song with me. I hope to see you soon again for another one of these. Um, but until then, take care of yourselves and bye for now.